30 meters above the forest floor in northern Guatemala, biologist Ronnie Garcia's team works hard to try to save an iconic animal. Scarlet macaws are endangered here. There's only a few hundred left in Guatemala's tropical forests. Habitat loss and wildlife trafficking have decimated their population. There were two macaw chicks in the nest here, but when we came back to check on them, they were gone. What we did find were the marks made by the equipment thieves used to climb the tree and steal the chicks. The nest had been robbed. Garcia checks on a young macaw that was removed from a nest at risk from poachers. His assistants hand-reared it in their jungle laboratory and then placed it in an adoptive nest with a chick the same age. With two young macaws now in the nest, the chances of one of them surviving long enough to reproduce has doubled. My hope is that in 10 years we won't be doing any work in the field because the scallop macaw won't need our help. I hope we can shut down the illegal markets and stop the theft of chicks. Guatemala is one of the most ecologically diverse countries in the world, but this also makes it a hot spot for animal trafficking. Experts estimate that thousands of tropical birds and other wildlife are trafficked in Guatemala every year. Many of those are brought here to the only animal clinic and wildlife rehabilitation center of its kind in Guatemala. Today, wildlife police bring a rescued owl to the Arcus Clinic. Veterinarians Alejandro Morales and Fernando Martinez first check for bullet wounds, then give the owl antibiotics. After quarantine and rehabilitation, they hope to release the owl back into the wild. It's a strategy central to Arcus's success and one that gives hope to the staff and volunteers caring for more than 600 animals from nearly 60 different species. We're trying very hard to put out our message of, say, no to illegal wildlife trade, don't hurt animals, keep them alive in the wild, and it's taking a bit of time. I think a challenge for us is to be able to educate enough people so that our job is not needed. The illegal trade in wildlife is thought to be worth at least $19 billion a year. Stopping local species from going extinct will likely keep Guatemala's animal rescuers busy for many years to come. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, in Paten, Guatemala.